Hi guys, today I want to go over the uh, sick as hell ROM. Uh, like its name implies, this ROM is sick as hell. Uh, I really like it. Performance is excellente. Now this is for T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. It is based on T-Mobile Galaxy Note 5. Uh, but you should be able to install it on other variants with the voice fix and the data fix. Um, so you can pretty much install it on any Note 5. Just make sure you have Marshmallow Bootloader. Uh, let me go ahead and show you my N22 benchmark score, 86,434. So performance, um, just based on the benchmarks, is very good. One of the best I've tried. Also, battery life is excellent. Also, you've got a battery bar up at the top, you'll notice. Um, it also got sick ROM control that will allow you to customize uh, a lot of things in this ROM here. Uh, status bar customization, you can set your clock style. Uh, let's go ahead and set this to the center. This is basically potato clock. Um, you can go ahead and set that. All right, as far as battery mods, um, you can go ahead and use three minutes, right? And go ahead and download uh, any any more stuff, any more clocks you want. Oops, it's outdated. Just make sure updated should be good. Um, status bar gradient. If you guys want to add a gradient, um, go ahead and choose the first color. Let's say I like green. Ah. All right, here we go. Let's choose something a little green. And that will change the gradient, which is kind of cool. You can add a little nice effect. Um, also, battery bar. If you want to disable it, enable it, you can go ahead and choose uh, that in the battery bar here. All right, that's kind of cool. Um, also, you got sick misc mods. All right, you've also got hold back to kill if you want to kill apps. Um, some ROM tools here. You got Viper for Android, Dolby Audio, Super SU, Attaway. Uh, if you want to get rid of ads, also ROM stuff, um, donate to Rick1684. He's been making some excellent ROMs. This is actually one of my favorite ROMs. I was actually running it on Lollipop. The only reason I didn't review it uh, is because, you know, it got updated to mar uh, Marshmallow. Now, this ROM does come with its own font, which that's the only thing I don't like about it. But you can get any font changer app. I just got high font off the Play Store and changed the font. Or you can... Uh, actually, you know what? You don't even need that app. You can go ahead and go to settings and go into display and go into fonts. And you can go ahead and download more fonts uh, straight from Samsung Store. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, if you don't like the default font, you can do that. It is really fast, uh, very good performance. Let me go ahead and show you. It's a Roma installer, um, so you guys know what it's like. And also, you've got a uh, re reboot menu here. Let's go into recovery. All right, go ahead and download the ROM, uh, preferably be on your computer, obviously, and then copy it over to your phone. And then um, you'll have to have Twerp installed, of course. Reboot into Twerp. You can use the buttons if you want. And do a wipe. Go to Advanced Wipe. Format System. Uh, swipe. Go back. Swipe to Factory Reset. Go back. And then install the ROM. All right. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and install. Uh, sick as hell. Now this is the first Marshmallow version, so there should be a ton more features coming, so I'll have an update. But for right now, this is my daily driver on the Note 5. Daily drive, my Note 5 is also my daily driver. One of my daily drivers, because I can use my uh, T-Mobile SIM card. Peony, actually my daughter took my S7, T-Mobile S7 Edge, so I have to switch back to this ROM. All right, so wipes, you don't have to do a wipe since you already wiped it. Um, if you are de-bloating some apps you don't want after installing ROM, you go ahead and choose that. Uh, app options, framework, and boot animation. Just go to uh, ROM installation for first time installation. Install the full DODX ROM. All right. Um, next. And that's pretty much it. All right, that's how you install it. Um, but there are several options there. You can de-bloat uh, after installing it and you should be good to go. But a uh, pretty awesome ROM, love it. Don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM if you end up as using as a daily driver. It's not got a ton of features, but it's got major stuff like Viper Audio, um, call recording, a few um, cool uh, tweaks. So definitely check it out. I really like this ROM. I mean, one thing I really like is performance. I find it a lot faster than uh, many other ROMs. Also, if you're using T-Mobile, it supports T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling. Um, anyway, check it out. Awesome ROM, one of the best ROMs you can install for the Galaxy Note 5. Uh, and as always, stay.
Hi, click here to subscribe. Click here to subscribe.